I understand that the jury has agreed to verdict. Anything from the state before we bring the jury in? No, Your Honor. Anything from the defense? No, sir. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to bring the jury in now. When the verdict is read, there is to be absolutely no display of emotions whatsoever. This is not an easy job for these jurors. I'm not going to have them insulted by any outburst one way or the other. If there is any show or display of emotions or any outburst, you'll be taken into custody and we will deal with the contempt charges. So there is to be absolutely no outburst, no display of emotions. And I say that simply because if you do not feel you can control your emotions, there's nothing wrong with that, but you need to excuse yourself from the courtroom at this time so that you do not interrupt the court and so that you don't get yourself into any further trouble. Okay? All right. Let's bring the jury in. I understand the jury has reached a verdict. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Have you completed and signed the verdict form? Yes, sir. All right. If you please hand it to the bailiff. All right. I'll ask the clerk of court if you please publish the verdict. The court of general sessions, 15th Judicial Circuit, State of South Carolina v. Ryan O'Neill Woodruff. As to indictment 2022-GS-22-00393, charging the defendant with the murder of Deborah Goins, we, the jury, find the defendant guilty. As to indictment 2022-GS-22-00394, charging the defendant with the murder of Roger Woodruff Sr., we, the jury, find the defendant guilty. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, if this is your verdict, please signify by raising your right hand. All right. Let the record reflect that all jurors raised their right hand. Any further polling of the jury by the defense? No. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for your service in this case. I know jury serve duty is not an easy process, but I do want to thank you for your service. You've got a one-year disqualification from serving jury duty. You've got a three-year exemption. I hope you don't exercise your exemption because we do need good jurors. And I want to thank you for your service for this week. This will conclude all duties as jurors for this week, and I want to thank you again for your service, your freedom of this time. Thank you very much. Are you ready to go forward with the sentencing? Yes, sir. All right. Anything in mitigation from the defense? Yes, sir. Ryan's 31 years old. He's got four kids. He is a lifetime resident of Georgetown County. He's had all kinds of jobs when he was working on boats, construction-type jobs. And as your Honor has heard through the course of this trial, he's also had his issues with substance abuse. And it's been a struggle for him. He hasn't had a lot of money, but he has had a lot of family support. And I think you've seen that in the courtroom this week. His family has been here supporting him, and they'll continue to support him. His father would like to say a few words on his behalf. All right. I'll hear from whoever wishes to speak. You need to come forward to the microphone and give the court report of your day. Thank you. I'm just here to humble myself in front of this court. I need you to give the court report of your day. All right, sir. Mr. Woodruff, what would you like to say? I just come to say I want to humble myself in front of you, this court. Nobody wins in this situation. I mean, this court, I think we're all. Oh, Becky, please. Thank you, sir. Anyone else wish to speak? Your Honor, as you've also heard, he's also got two more serious cases to deal with as well. This tragedy has really torn his family apart. And having some hope that Ryan could actually come home one day would really help him to heal, I think. We 
we ask the court to consider uh, a 30 year sentence on each charge running concurrent. Thank you. Mr. Woodruff, anything you want to say? Any victims wish to speak? Right, could you spell your name, please? P E P P E R R A Y. All right, Ms. Ray, and what is your relation to the victims? Well, that's your David Ray, no? All right. They were the babies of a family of nine children. My mother and his grandfather were two of the oldest. They survived their baby brother and sister. Roger suffered a long time. He fought with alcoholism. He had emphysema. He had breathing machine. He was in and out of ice. My mom and dad fought to keep Roger alive. They went to family court. They got control over stuff, and Roger was coming out of it. Roger was a smart man. He could build you a computer when they first started computers. He loved it. He had just weeks before this asked for a new computer so that he could start his life with me. Ryan took that money. Ryan took a brain bottle. Father, a brother, an uncle, and a friend for me. I hate what this has done for my family and what it's doing to it right now. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. They had problems. God, we would all tell you she was a, she was just a thicker. Debbie survived the serial rapist that Georgetown had. She was left hanging by a belt, and she survived it. Dad survived a serious car accident, which left her debilitated, left her her dumb which led to the rest of her drug, drug addiction. She didn't deserve to die like this. Roger didn't deserve it. Roger allowed you in his home, which it wasn't much. It needed a lot of work. But he said, you're Chuck's son. Your family. You were family. And he was looking out for you. He had just recently met because he was family and he killed him. And he killed, yes, Danny with a mess, but he killed her too. Whether it was him or Alicia that swung it, they did it. And we just ask that you go by what you heard in the courtroom and you do what you feel like is best. Our family's devastated. Our wife. Prior record. Your Honor, there is a burglary in first degree. As well as three counts of burglaries. Your Honor, my client's telling me that he was not convicted of dirt first. Yes, that's right. I believe the bird seconds. I would not please strike the bird first out of the record as it relates to sentencing out of an abundance of caution. Yes, all right. Please forget that. Another one's still here. I know. Just if you have been found guilty of murder, two counts by a jury of your peers, the sentence of the court for each charge is that you be confined to the State Department of Corrections for life without parole. Three sentences alone consecutively. Sure. <laughs> 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 <laughs>